And welcome to this video on slit lamp examination. We're going to show you a very interesting case of retinal detachment, regmatogenous retinal detachment in a patient who was pseudophagic. And he, after removal of oil, he developed retinal detachment, although he had um, encircling barrier laser done pretty effectively. So here you can see this is the fundus photograph. Cup to disc ratio seems to be 0.2 or 0.3. And this is the area in the infratemporal part where you see this area of difference. If we take this, so this is the mark between the attached and the detached area. So this is the fovea which we are marking with an X. So this, these are the corrugations which you see in this patient with the detachment. And these, and this is sort of a shallowish bullous detachment. Inferiorly, when we see with the stator examination. This area is detached. So this is a macula of infratemporal fresh retinal detachment. The superior retina is attached. So as I discussed before, this patient had a recently removed silicone oil and uh, he developed uh, complaining of floater in front of his superior field of vision. So he could not see anything in his superior half of vision. That was what his complaint was. Let's go through the video of this patient. I'll go through the different parts. Uh, this is a examination with a superficial lens. So we are trying to find out the same finding. The important thing we're going to remember is you are going to see that retina upside down. So in the picture, the disc was on the right side that, uh, because it was left sided fundus. Now the disc is going to be towards uh, on the other side. So as you see over here, This is upside down, so the fovea is in the center over here. And this is the area of detachment which you are seeing in this patient. So same thing, looking here, the important thing which we wanted to show you in this video was to identify the peripheral extent of this retinal detachment. Here you will see that this patient has got laser marks in the inferior part of the retina. So I'll just go through this, This, these are the laser marks which are showing through, I'll just highlight them. So actually this is the area or the ridge of the barrage laser. So his detachment was peripheral and central to this area of retinal detachment. No hole was identified at this time without indentation. So what we wanted to find out the extent of the detachment because sometimes the hole might be present superiorly. So let's see if we move it around, can we go and see anything further? So if we keep moving, so just keep looking for that area where the barrage laser is. This is the barrage area, area of barrage laser and the detachment is in a, in a sort of a donut shape above and below this area where you see. So this is the inferior part of the retina you, you are seeing and then so the, it's to highlight to you that it is not necessary that you do barrage later, the patient will not get a retinal redetachment. So actually now the case will be even more difficult because that area where the barrage is actually that area becomes sometimes difficult to uh, get reattached to because the retina is already fibrosed and there are scars over there and those actually laser marks, sometimes those areas produce small holes in that area. So this is the temporal side of the retina here you see the laser marks over here so going towards that side so this area seems to be attached so it is more inferior part that seems to be detached in this patient this is the superior part where more laser marks are available i think this is the supratemporal area where the previous break was that had been lasered before so it's, you have to be patient to localize what you are seeing when you're seeing with a 90 diopter lens because you ask the patient to move around and move in different directions in order for you to localize that area of retinal detachment. So this is the nasal area of the retinal detachment. So once you've seen this, I'll bring the main picture back into this area and let's figure out what we need to or how we can manage this patient. So this is the area, nasal area, temporal area. So we have a case now with an inferior retinal detachment, a 
regmatologist retinal detachment and we've got these areas of barrage laser over here in this patient so these are the areas of barrage and there is detachment peripheral to this area as well so at this time what i usually find is the best way to handle is to do a buckling procedure for this patient i would tend to do either this 270 degree buckle or probably better off to just do a 277 tire which i tend to join together in the supra temporal area so i just do that tire going around and get a good indent for that so that would be procedure number one of my choice because the second procedure of choice would be if you want to do a single procedure that would be to do a vitrectomy and then use heavy silicone oil and then get laser around that area peripheral and nasal to the barrage laser so those are the options which are available it's a tricky case the third option would be to go in first time do a buckle if it settles buckling and then you do indentation with cryo and if it's settled then it's okay and if it's not then just combine it with the vitrectomy and oil and then do laser around it as well at that time so thank you very much for watching i think uh, you've learned something out of this retinal detachment case actually retinal detachment is such a dynamic topic even when i'm doing surgery i learn from every case and it's a challenge every time so don't be uh, put down by it we have to follow that link off rule to identify the break you need to seal the break then to give in tamponade the break and uh, the different agents and that is how you manage a retinal detachment thank you very much for watching